Despite Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice having long since been released in the theatres and arrived on home media in Blu-ray, it remains a hot topic of conversation, primarily because it's polarising reception among critics and hardcore fans. Even other comic book movie talent have expressed their displeasure about the film. The interesting thing about that interview, that whole conversation, I was saying how much I liked the character of Superman yeah. and how I liked the old Superman and how it deterred from that line. But after seeing Batman versus Superman, I'm very glad they brought it back. I feel like I said with your friend who cut that to make it look like I said that, <laughs> which I didn't, but anybody will do anything. When I saw that movie, I was really excited about it because I said Ben Affleck would be a perfect Superman. I mean, a uh, Batman. And when you watch the movie, you see he's the best thing about the movie. He shines as Batman. I'm biased because I really like Christopher Reeves. You know, I like the, I like those movies. Yeah. You know I mean, and we were talking about that last night. And so it's hard for me to ever kind of get past that. Sometimes when you have, look, you're going to have RDJ, right? When you have an iconic performance yeah. like that, it's going to be very hard to see someone else do it. I think we have to just, out of respect, appreciate the effort of bringing these two juggernaut characters to the big screen. However, this film, in my opinion, suffers from the same diagnosis Iron Man 2 did, too much in too little time. There's no problem setting up your universe, no problem at all, or even core easter eggs and references. However, there is something to be said about one thing at a time. The one thing here being, well, the movie. If you go back and rewatch it, you can see the script, while modelled, does have some amazing pieces of dialogue and interesting questions raised. However, they are ultimately suffocated the minute they are put out there, too many cooks in the kitchen kind of deal. The film only feels modelled because you, as an audience member, can't pinpoint what exactly he's trying to get across, is trying to teach you. We, as a viewer, know Batman is not a bad guy. We also know Superman, the granddaddy of superheroes, is not a bad guy either. So we are left constantly waiting for the characters to figure this out themselves. The audience should never be ahead of the character, only in rare cases, but even then, rarely. This leaves us feeling disconnected by the film as we feel smarter than those in it. Batman v Superman is a great film, lost in translation. There are highlights there if you look for it, it's not a complete loss. Anyone who says it is, is just lying. I think if you involve expectations, it does leave you feeling a bit disappointed. I guess the lesson here is focus on the film you're making, and leave the hints as hints, something for hardcore fans to spot on a second viewing. Furthermore. Make your characters know more than the audience, or this will bring in fatigue and apathy from said audience. So, when making a cinematic universe, take your time. I'm Maverick, you're awesome, and we are Maverick Studios. Till next time.